Hello, so we got some breaking news today. OpenAI has announced DALI 2. This is not to be confused with the original DALI. This is DALI 2. OpenAI has started to release the actual DALI model where you can enter text and get back images. This is a state-of-the-art model with, you know, essentially generations that I've never seen before. Better alignment based on what you enter and what you get back. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through some of the articles. We're going to go through the announcement. I'm going to show you some sample generations as well. I'll show you how you can join the waitlist, as well as I'll even share the link to the research paper. So let's get started. So OpenAI's new DALI model draws anything but bigger, better, and faster than before. You can see this generation right here of this dog wearing the beret. Uh, another, so this is a, a sea otter in the style of girl with a pearl earring. Um, so again, they're just entering this text into DALI 2 and getting back this quality level image. And Dolly, DALI 2 even gives you multiple options. So this was one of the options they went with. You can see some more stuff at The Verge. So teddy bears mixing sparkling chemicals as mad scientists, steampunk. This is what it came up with. You see that same thing. So the dog wearing a beret and a black turtleneck. Uh, we're gonna go through some of these other ones. So a bowl of soup that looks like a monster knitted out of wool. Uh, notice the details in, in, the, in the carpet behind them. The details of the knitted wool. Uh, this is part of the other thing that DALI 2 is, is really good at is also the details as well. Uh, New York Times, so a teapot in the shape of an avocado. Notice the textures on the pot, uh, the textures around the metal piece. Uh, now we'll jump to the announcements. So DALI 2, DALI 2 is a new AI system that can create realistic images and art from a description in natural language. DALI 2 can create original realistic images and art from a text description. It can combine concepts, attributes, and styles. So over here we can adjust. So this is again, this is just the blog post. This is not the actual access to DALI 2. This is just a quick blog post that lets you just sort of get an idea of what's possible. So we can change this to teddy bears. We have a few options. Let's go for groceries. So these are teddy bears doing groceries uh, in ancient Egypt. And so this is one possibility, this is another. Notice how I changed the clothing style of, of the teddy bears. This is, a, this is a real image generated by today's AI, generated by DALI 2. It's just mind blowing, the texturing, the composition, the details, uh, to some extent, the accuracy. It's very, very impressive. Uh, the, the post goes on to show that DALI 2 can make realistic edits to existing images from a natural language caption. It can add and remove elements while taking shadows, reflections, and textures into account. So over here, we can choose a spot to add the flamingo. So I'm going to click up here. Notice how it's added the flamingos up here. We can go choose another option, another option. It's given us different kinds of flamingos that we could go with. So it's just, this is also sort of teasing some of the edit capabilities, how you can uh, edit existing images and modify them. Uh, DALI 2 can take an image and create different variations of it inspired by the original. So this is again, sort of just exploring, given this image, you know, what else could have been made? Um, it's almost like it understands the idea, the notion, the, the core essence of an image and can sort of work around it. Uh, provide different options, maybe an alternative version that you may or may not like better. Uh, DALI 2 has learned the relationship between images and the text used to describe them. It uses a process called diffusion, which starts with a pattern of random dots and gradually alters that pattern towards an image when it recognizes specific aspects of that image. Um, I don't want to go too much into the diffusion stuff, but by my understanding, the main, the main benefit of diffusion models is that they're a lot faster. And so before for all these different multimodal AI models, which is what DALI is, you ended up having to wait a long time for a single image. Diffusion allows faster results and I believe multiple options as well. Uh, in January, DALI, one year later. And so I guess this is just showing the old version versus the new version. Uh, I mean, you know, it's higher resolution, uh, better details. Uh, seems to me more accurate and visually interesting. 
and also it's got some uh, preference as well how OpenAI is basically working to make DALI 2 better aligned, what's known as aligned, better aligned with users and what they want out of a system like this. Um, and uh, essentially right now the main thing is they're uh, looking to uh, set up this waitlist. They don't want everybody just piling in because they're concerned about safety stuff so you have to apply to the waitlist. I'm going to show you at the end how you can do that. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much the blog post. So we've gone through some news. We've gone through the blog post. OpenAI has set up an OpenAI DALI Instagram account where you can follow along with some generations. So I'll sh we're now going to look at some examples. So an avocado armchair. This is one that it came up with. This is another. Notice the details around this chair and the legs. Some more examples. Uh, it's, uh, this is a, a photo of an astronaut riding a horse. And we see those same two, three images from before. Let's see this one. An ibis, ibis in the wild painted in the style of John Adubon. I don't know who that is, but still interesting. And this is a more, I guess, photorealistic, a photo of a quaint flower shop storefront with a pastel green and, gr and clean white facade an open door and big window. So notice how much, uh, how many elements were put into this and it sort of mapped it out and created a, you know, a reasonable realistic image based on that description. Very, very impressive. Now we're gonna be looking at some completions that different people have posted. A bowl of soup that is a portal to another dimension as digital art. These are all very detailed interesting generations uh, uh shout out to obron he's been on the youtube channel podcast before opening eye ambassador a wakandan ship visiting the bronx nyc if you love black panther as much as i did you know this photo is just awesome then uh a photorealistic colored pencil drawing a professional skateboarder tony hawk doing an Upside down trick on a half pipe where he gra where he grabbing the skateboard with his left hand. <laughs> Pretty cool. I love the I love this you know colored pencil drawing style. And then bears taking over the planet by Dally Two. <laughs> Notice how parts of it are becoming kind of brown and furry, and the bear is just sitting on top. Again, this is unbelievable that this is generated by an AI model today. Um, and it's, you know, it's just so mind blowing and fun. Uh, I myself can't wait to get access to, to Dally 2. I've reached out to OpenAI, uh, hoping to hear back from them shortly. Uh, you can sign up for the waitlist. I'm gonna include all these links in the description below. So enter your first name, last name, email, uh, your social media, as well as your role and get on the waitlist. Uh, I'm not sure how OpenAI is deciding who gets access and who does not. But uh, I'm sure they have sort of sort of some criteria, some idea. Uh, hopefully they, they want to give this to artists uh, as a priority. That's what I would think. Uh, but perhaps also people making cool creative tools on top. And uh, this is also the research paper. I'm not going to be going through it. But uh, essentially the research paper talks about this different approach they're using to generate these models. It's you know very new and innovative. I'm gonna put, put the link in the description below. I encourage you if you're interested in the academic, theoretical, the research core of all of this, I encourage you to read it. It'll help you maybe understand the model better and use it and leverage it in better ways. Finally, I just wanna say that uh, if you're interested in perhaps understanding where all of like stuff like DALI 2 and perhaps future kinds of models, multimodal models that can generate movies and music, I encourage you to check out my YouTube series called uh, GPT-X DALI and our multimodal future. It's 19 videos available for free that you can check out on YouTube that talks in detail about where all of this stuff is going. What could it mean for creatives? How can you make money from these kinds of things? Are there any ethical considerations? Everything under the sun. So with that said, this is an incredibly exciting, groundbreaking news. DALI 2, it has started to release. I've been waiting years for this, basically since last year. Um, and uh, for me, this is just really exciting. I'm gonna have more follow-up videos. So please make sure you're subscribed. As soon as I get access, I'm gonna be posting a video. I'll be offering a tutorial where you can maybe perhaps learn from different things I've picked up. 
Um, and of course, the podcast, which is a podcast I run called Multimodal, I'm going to be posting an episode later today talking about this announcement. So if you're interested in following along with my journey, you're interested in this technology, you're interested in some resources, please make sure you like and subscribe to my video, to this channel. It means a lot to me. And obviously, you know, this is a really, really exciting day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.